we're maybe, you know, a little down the road, uh, definitely not where we are planning and intending to be, but a mindset for sure is a willingness to learn what it is that you need to learn. And, and that ties into doing, because in order for me to learn something, I have to do something to learn. And it's like, I have, we have a well, have six year old and very smart, very brilliant, um, very good grades, obviously. But you know, who doesn't make good grades, I guess, in first grade, <laughs> but I don't know. But, but one thing I tell them is don't focus on making the egg. Focus on learning what you need to learn because it's learning the material that's gonna help you in life it's not so much the A. The A comes as a result of knowing what it is that you need to know. So we just reached a point in our life where not knowing wasn't good enough, right? So if we're not in tech and we want to be in tech, okay, what does it take to get in tech? Okay, well, after we enroll in course careers, like how, how do we begin to perfect this more? Like let's study cold calling. Let's study, let's study how to get on the interview. Like let's watch the videos and whatever we have to do Let's make it happen. Right. And and obviously I've said this before, those of you were personal, and, and I mean this with so much sincerity, a, a personal contributing factor in that season where our mindset was really just growing into taking more ownership over our life and our actions and what we do and what we do not do. And I remember, man, when you told me that you would work or study course careers listening to something, reading while you had your infant and a toddler at home. Like that was like crazy. And in my mind, I'm like, I'm like, dude, you're taking care of them? Like while you're working? And I'm like, I've always just gave all of our kids to a tea, <laughs> right? <laughs> and um, that pivoted something in me. And, and it allowed for me to be willing to stretch myself, to take care of our kids while I'm still preparing for something so that I can give a Tia room, give her space to expand and to learn to do whatever it is that she needs to do. Um, so, but that's what I have. Yeah. For my and, and I'm glad you asked that question because we talk about that. You know, why is it that we, you know, we're talking to people, we're coaching, you know, we're, we're trying to help as many people as we can. And you, you meet a lot of people with the mindset of doubt or or fear or inferiority and you know that lack of faith you know yes you have to believe in god first we believe that but there is a lack of faith and confidence in yourself that's required and i believe you know if if you're someone who's worked for so long for so little then you start to your value starts to diminish. Mm -hmm. And so now you're applying for a job and the base salary is $80,000 and you don't think you qualify just because you've been used to being paid pennies. Well, I think you've got to first see yourself the way God sees you. You know, that, the, that you're valuable in his eyes and then change the way you view yourself. You know, that if you're someone who's willing to work hard, you're someone who, you know, you, you're willing to learn, and you're willing to do what it takes, why wouldn't a company want to hire you? You know, why wouldn't, you know, the things you're learning on your job now, see how it connects, see if you can connect the dots and build a bridge, you know? So I would talk about being a stay-at-home mom and how I learned how to multitask and that would help me with the company. You know, I talked about my past as a mentor, you know, so many things that you don't realize are transferable skills. Like Joseph, you talked about that. You're in a job now. See if there's something you're doing or you're learning that you'll benefit a tech company and talk about that. And there are so many opportunities out there. You know, there's so many job posts. If you look on LinkedIn, last time I checked it was over 2000 jobs and they're there. So why wouldn't you be qualified for one of those roles? And I think it does start with your mindset.